What's up, y'all? I'm back. Mandy, the Grand Tarot. We got a new deck. I got a few new decks. That's one of them. How much time do I got? 26 minutes. Okay. So, somebody's name could be Louise. Okay. That's for somebody. But what I'm getting here, though, <coughs> is that somebody's going to try to come in as a friend. This could be past tense energy. It's coming up as a masculine energy that is going to come in as a friend. Or you could be the masculine energy that's got someone coming in to pose as a friend here. But what they're really trying to do is take something from you, okay? So first out, we got the king of coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You don't have to have those signs in your chart. You could just be a stable, dependable, hardworking, um, you know, earth sign energy. Here we got the page of coins, which is the friend card sometimes. It can be a child card, friend card. But this, um, I feel like you are this prosperous energy here and someone is coming in with this offer, but either it's either somebody's taking back their offer and this could be you this friend or somebody's trying to steal something from you and i feel like it's literally like money with this uh theft and stability card there's a safe right here y'all be careful about your um anything that could be stolen from you right your work your you maybe need to change your passwords or something but i really feel like with peace and a visitor like somebody's coming in and they want to make peace with you they could want to make peace with you because they know that you know with this empress and the high priestess you know this person uh was lying to you about something you know that they were trying to manipulate you now they want to come in and they want peace okay so that's what we're going to clarify and see what's going on. They do want to come in with the truth. And if if it's not that, it's just you realizing the truth yourself. Because a lot of times, people are not going to come in and be like, Oh yeah, I lied to you and tried to steal something from you. Tried to break into your bank account. Nobody's going to come in saying that shit, right? <laughs> Nine times out of ten, they're not. So, with this high priestess and the empress. Now, for some of y'all, this could be somebody in a relationship. You're in a relationship with who's straight, you know, literally lying. Because it says theft here. But it is the Seven of Swords card, okay? Next, we got the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could have been somebody who was lying about a Queen of Swords energy, or you could be this Queen of Swords energy that knows that somebody's lying, right? Independent and honest, because you're coming up as... You could be any of these energies coming up. You can embody all these energies, and they can also represent different people you're connecting with, right? So, you know, it's like you don't want no... Um, you want this is what you want honesty partnership honesty in your partnerships right you want stability success you're going towards success definitely you could have a you could be married with this marriage and inheritance card coming in or you could have two or you could have different options coming towards you right but these options are not even on your level. If this Empress energy is you, you got the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Coins coming up. Now this could indicate an age difference, right? But, so we got a dreamer, a proposal. So, there's definitely some kind of offer coming in. Or somebody has come in with some kind of offer, right? Dependable man, trust, trustworthy. Trustworthy. Trustworthy, okay? A dreamer, a proposal. So, somebody's coming in here that wants some kind of commitment. Or that's what they were portraying like. They wanted some kind of either commitment or... You know, some kind of partnership with you. Now, this definitely could be about work, y'all. Or it could be somebody, um, yeah, it could definitely be something to do with work. We're going to see. With the Knight of Cups, you got like a romantic type energy, but it also could be somebody's kind of a dreamer. <laughs> hmm. Now, you could be the dreamer, right? You could be the dreamer um, that believes in love and, you know, honesty and all this stuff. Well, sometimes people see different things in you and they try to manipulate, right? Is what I'm getting. Let me get some. I'm going to use the Kipper deck to clarify. Let me get something on the King of Coins, please. So we got message here. You could be hearing from this person. Page of Coins. Page of Coins with the Privileged Lady coming out. <laughs> Main Male and Thief. 
This could be literally some a friend of y'all's trying to steal your man. Okay, for some of y'all or vice versa. It could be a friend of yours trying to steal your woman, okay? But again, we got this main male and the previous lady. Somebody is not up to your level, okay? Because you got main male that's coming up as either a king or a page or a knight. There's no emperor here so far, right? But you're coming up as the empress. Unless you're somebody who's going to like your mother, um, a grandmother or something. This could be a mother or a grandmother that's protecting you in spirit or someone who is in this protective, nurturing energy, right? creativity resources somebody wants to come somebody wants to take your resources here your creativity like i don't like this okay it's given like somebody wants to use you okay let's get something on the theft card please some look at this shit oh my gosh occupation with thoughts and he's thinking this male is thinking about this woman right or feminine energy, however you want to look at it, because there's no gender in tarot. So just because it's a man on the card, that don't mean it's necessarily a man. But a lot of times, what's on the card, you can take that as, you know, you can take that how you want to take it. To me, it looks like a man is thinking about a woman here and thinking about what he can take from her. Now, you could be this person's muse, okay? And somebody wants to take you from somebody else, vice versa, or something like that. What in the world? But that looks like somebody's trying to... So this could be a co-worker who is, who's got their eye on another co-worker, possibly, with the occupation and thought. Somebody's thinking about this co-worker who could be married. Um, what is the peace and visitor? Wealthy man. Okay, and pathway. <laughs> All right, let's get something on the Queen of Swords. Poverty. Okay, so somebody's got a, a broke-ass bee who's trying to... So, if you got a... Um, now, this don't have to be a female. A queen of swords don't have to be a female. It could be a, a man in ma a feminine energy, right? Um, But not good feminine energy because we got the... So, I think this queen of swords could be like... Uh, I don't have any reversals out here because it's a new deck. None of the cards are in reverse, so... <clears throat> somebody feels like <clears throat> that you or someone you're connected to is their pathway to something. What's the partnerships? High honor with gift. Somebody feels like they could get status from you or your person. What's the ace of swords? The house, right? Somebody might even want to like take your take your house stability. What in the hell? Stability. Let me get one on stability. Imprisonment. Oh, okay. Look, so somebody tried it. Okay, somebody tried it. Somebody might have tried to break into your either your home, your bank account, or something, right? But your your stuff is on lock. Stability. Your stuff is on lock here. Wow, that's good. So it's like they tried it, right? <laughs> What's the marriage and inheritance card? Mature man. Okay, somebody tried could. This is your person. You're coming up as either the privileged lady or mature woman. So, you're coming up in this empress energy. So, somebody could literally try to take your your man, your woman, your... This could be somebody they work with. Somebody, you know what I'm saying? Or a friend of yours or something like that. That's what it's giving. What's the Knight of Cups? Ooh. Toil and labor coming out the bottom of the deck. So we got false person and message of concern. The Knight of Cups. Somebody might want you to keep your mouth shut and somebody definitely acting fake. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here with the Knight of Cups. August could be significant. August 14th, August 5th. Let's see the numbers we got. What's the fifth month? January, January, February, March, April. May. May could be significant. And we got 37, 25, 20, 29, 13, one January could be significant. Aquarius could definitely be significant because when I was pulling cards, I got the fool card. It's like somebody thought you was foolish. I feel like, or somebody, you know, I was not liking the energy I was getting y'all. But um, <laughs> I was pulling them on camera to do a short a while ago, and I still got it recorded. But um, yeah, the fool card was at the bottom of the day. Uh, so next we got the Knight of Coins. I feel like all the cards are not in here. Maybe they are. Okay. 
Let me get something on the Knight of Coins, please. Despair. Dependable man and trustworthy. Well, maybe somebody you thought was a dependable man or trustworthy is not what you thought. Or maybe somebody um, thought that they could get your dependable man or something, right? I don't know, y'all. The Chinese zodiac of the dog or the rat could be significant. I'm trying to see if I see any more. Okay, we got a cat out here. Uh, let me get one on the Empress, please. Great fortune. Baby, let me tell you, honey. <laughs> you might have a community. You could be somebody who either reads cards or you're building a community with the um, secrets and intuition. Like, you already know this shit. Somebody might think you don't know it, but you do know. You know about this co-worker situation or this friend situation, whatever it is, right? What's the high priestess? unexpected income that's what people didn't expect that you were gonna know what the hell was going on okay um and if it's not that then you could be somebody who is who has a friend who is this high priestess energy right this empress energy and they about to drop some drop a little bit of that uh wisdom in your hand like okay this is what you need to know about this situation okay unexpected income now, this definitely does look like also that you're going to get some unexpected income. Somebody's concerned about that. I don't know why they're concerned. About Somebody's real concerned about your money, your your home, your money, like what you got going on. Like, okay. <clears throat> you could be seeing uh, 3311 or one of those numbers. We're going to get some from the, this is another new deck, y'all. Colette Baron Reed. The... The spirit animal pocket oracle. Okay, we're going to get some of these to clarify. If you guys are waiting on a personal reading, I'm going to be finishing the ones that have already been paid for later today, maybe, but definitely by tomorrow. Okay, so, and if you want to book with me, you can email me at lucaredtarot at yahoo.com. L-U-C-A-R-E-D-T-A-R-O-T at yahoo.com. All lowercase. I don't know if that matters, but it's all lowercase. Okay, what do they need to know about this situation, Spirit? Spider Spirit. Make your dreams real. And well, Spirit. Trust the great mystery. Trust the great mystery. Hmm, that's interesting. 56, which breaks down to an 11. That's November, if we're talking about months. That's a that spider, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Starfish spirit, open to infinite possibility. Chameleon spirit, act as if. Okay, so another thing is, wait a second. Rabbit spirit. Okay, Chinese zodiac of the rabbit could be significant. Rhino spirit, overcome any obstacle. These cards here, the rhino spirit and the rabbit spirit are also indicating to me that you have some good luck coming in. The rhino spirit can, rhino can also represent a king of pentacles energy, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You had a king of pentacles up there at the top. Um, now, if you're a single woman, this could be a situation where it's like, you know what you want is... You want some kind of commitment, stability, or something like that from, like, a man, right? Or that's what you're looking for as a man and a woman. Whatever it is, act as if you've already got this. Um, But I feel like this does have a lot to do with, also a lot to do with somebody who is trying to manifest some kind of business here. Uh, money, finances, stability. What do they need to know? If that's what you're trying to manifest, um, <laughs> look, time for a deep dive, swan spirit. This swan, a lot of times there's two swans when it's indicating like a, um, a connection, like two people, right? Well, this empress down here is by herself, you know? Huh. There's no emperor here. I guess the mature man, no... Well, there's a wealthy man and mature man, so one of those could be considered an emperor, but I don't like how the wealthy man came out beside the um, uh, theft card. Vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. Now, with the vulture spirit, I'm also getting that, like, somebody... 
somebody wants to like pick you clean. You see what I'm saying? Somebody, I don't like this. I do not like this right here. Okay. That's what vultures do. Okay, the vulture and the spider are giving me... I mean, we're going to go with what the cards say, but me as an intuitive reader, I'm going to tell you that somebody's wanting to catch you up and get you caught up in some bullshit, okay? Excuse my French. So be careful of that. Beware of that. This person is coming up as a friend or somebody trying to come at you romantically. Now, this could be a situation where you went through... You, we got. Wait a minute. So we got main male, wealthy man, mature man. Hmm. Give me a second, y'all. Then that chameleon spirit also gives me to somebody who pretends to be something that they are not. This could be somebody who's pretending like they got a lot of money, but they don't. They're really trying to... They really. So, you could be somebody who has a lot of your own money, stability, whatever the case is. And then you got this person who's trying to act like they're acting as if. They're acting as if they're this wealthy man. Because if you come to somebody like you're broke, they're... <laughs> They're going to be expecting you to want something from them. But if you come at somebody like you, you, gotta, you don't need shit from them, then, um, wait, let me, let me rephrase that. Okay, so if, if this person comes towards you like they, okay, for one thing, if it's, I feel like it's a masculine that's in feminine energy, they don't have anything to offer, right? They could be kind of narcissistic. They don't have to be, but... Hmm. Give me a second, y'all. You're somebody who values your partnerships, friendships, you know, love connections, whatever it is, but this vulture does not, okay? Somebody don't. Now... So, keep in mind, we got several energies out here. So, you might be thinking like, well, that's not, you know, the person that's, I'm th that's on my mind is not this undependable liar or whatever. Well, there's, there's a friend or somebody that's in your energy or in your person's energy that I could be talking about, right? Because we got a lot of energies here. There could also be a situation where somebody's really tied in with a situation with a parent. Like, they could be living with a parent. Their parent lives with them or something with this empress down here. But I feel like whoever you are, you're this Empress energy. Hmm. You got a lot of good coming towards you, okay? Because you, being the Empress energy, whether you're male or female, you have the ability to manifest anything that you want, right? Don't let somebody close off your heart because when they do that, it, it's harder for you to manifest, Okay, so we're 18 minutes in. Let me let me get some oracle before I close this out. Let's get some from the sacred forest. All right. Okay, one second, y'all. Um Harmony, something about harmony. Somebody's name could be harmony, or you got harmony that's coming in. Some situation is getting resolved. What do they need to know? Remain flexible at this time. Success, I'm telling you, success is around the corner for you. And with that willow spirit, that does give me a um, mother energy or a grandmother in spirit. Okay, raven spirit and truth. Also, an aunt energy. Freedom. The truth of this situation is going to set you free. It's like either when you realize this truth or, you know, uh, look, this right here, frog renewal. It's like somebody may have been like the frog, okay? Like, you know, sanctuary. I feel like you are realizing the truth about a situation and you're getting you're freeing yourself of it 
this could be friendship, whatever, yeah. You're definitely, you could be going into like hermit mode. You're handling this situation with grace. You're somebody who don't need anybody, right? You are surrounded by spirit team here with the wolf spirit cards coming through. That's what I got for y'all. Hope to see you in the next one. Love y'all.